Welcome to our deep dive into the world of finance, where we'll explore the foundational concepts of risk and return. Whether you're a seasoned investor or just getting started, understanding these principles is crucial for making informed financial decisions. Why is it important to understand risk and return? Valuation techniques, like net present value NPV, depend on the cost of capital, which is directly influenced by the risk involved. This video will help you grasp how to measure risk and determine the required rate of return. To quantify risk, we use key statistical measures, mean, variance, and standard deviation. These terms might sound complex, but they're essential for assessing financial risks. The mean is simply the average return. Variance shows how much the returns vary from the average, and standard deviation gives us a sense of the volatility or risk involved. Other important measures include the median, skewness, and correlation. These help us understand the distribution of returns and how different investments might behave in relation to each other. Correlation measures how closely two assets move together. A high correlation means they move in the same direction, while a low correlation suggests they move independently, which is key for diversification. In finance, returns are often assumed to follow a normal distribution. This allows us to calculate confidence intervals, giving us an estimate of where future returns might fall. Let's take a look at the real-world example of General Motors. By analyzing its historical monthly returns, we can see how these statistical concepts play out in practice. Stock returns can be volatile, and markets are often efficient. This means prices reflect all available information, making it difficult to consistently outperform the market. Historical data from 1946 to 2001 shows us that while riskier assets generally offer higher returns, the market's behavior is far from predictable. The risk premium is the extra return investors demand for taking on additional risk. This concept is at the heart of why more volatile investments often yield higher returns. Anomalies, like the size effect, challenge traditional finance theories. Historically, smaller firms have outperformed larger ones, especially in January. The January effect is another anomaly where stock returns tend to be higher in January compared to other months, offering a unique opportunity for investors. Value stocks, or those with low price-to-book ratios, typically outperform growth stocks. This is known as the value premium. Momentum investing is based on the idea that stocks with high past returns will continue to perform well in the near future. This strategy has shown to be effective over time. Stocks with high past accruals or recent stock offerings often underperform, highlighting another market anomaly that investors should be aware of. Initial public offerings, IPOs, and seasoned equity offerings, SEOs, present unique opportunities and risks, with their performance varying significantly over time. Finally, we look at the performance of mutual funds. Despite active management, most funds struggle to consistently outperform the market, as evidenced by the distribution of their alphas. To sum up, understanding risk and return is crucial for any investor. While the market is generally efficient, anomalies provide opportunities for those who know where to look. By using statistical tools and historical data, you can better navigate the complexities of financial markets.